Hello friends, we are gathered here today for a momentous occasion. So last night, Her Interactive dropped a trailer for Nancy Drew Mystery of the Seven Keys Game 34, already infamous even prior to her release date. I wanted to record my first reactions to it. I have not watched it yet, and I don't really know what to expect. I have stayed off social media, which honestly has been a nice thing. <laughs> should do that more often, really. But yeah, we're gonna watch it through it together. A whole whopping three minute long trailer. I'm excited. My goodness, I've almost got shivers. It could be anything. And anything could happen. Literally anything. Nancy could kill a man. I don't think that's going to happen, but <laughs> that's my I'm putting my early predictions in, you know? Anyway, enough of the suspense. Without further ado, should we start watching? Let's go. Rated E10 for ages 10 and Mild violence. Now to minutely dissect every single frame of this trailer. Mild violence. What do we think that means? Is someone going to get murdered off screen? Well, obviously Nancy probably isn't going to kill someone on screen. <gasps> oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my god, this scene is gorgeous. I just went to Prague and I'm trying to be like, where is that in Prague? I was in Prague for one day and I'm acting like I'm an ex expert on Prague. <laughs> I probably walked along that street, you know? This is really pretty though. Here in the beautiful city of Prague. Hold on. <laughs> I don't want to miss anything. Let's go back. Here in the beautiful city of Prague. I just want to say, can confirm, Prague is a beautiful city. We've got little people here. Are they significant people? <laughs> what is the significance of these people? There are I haven't seen this statue. No, I have. That's in Prague Castle. I do recognize that. Yes. And Prague Castle, of course, is where the Prague crown jewels are kept, which are unlocked by seven keys. History is so steeped in history. They should be oh. served for all to Okay, this is a little museum. We didn't go inside Prague Cast Prague Castle. <laughs> Prague Castle, so I can't say if this is accurate. It closed at 5 p.m. We got there at 4.30. But I think we've seen this before, the inside of this kind of museum area. I want to watch it through without pausing, but I'm like, wait, I need to absorb this. Oh, there's the astrological clock. I've seen that. I've seen that in person, baby. I walked all the way up it, in fact. But there are those who Ooh, wait, wait, wait. That was a new character. This man. He's got like an, an artist model. VHS tape, TV, old TV. He looks pretty good. He's got quite like a lot of skin texture going on. Who is this little man? Love a sweater vest moment. Wait, last will? Last will and testament? Juicy, juicy little background detail. Okay, that's Radic. Technology of this modern world. Ah, so there's going to be like a kind of shadow at the water's edge theme where it's like technology versus tradition slash history. I don't want to speak too soon. I don't want to get excited. But Deirdre wears green. <laughs> this character's wearing green. You know who else wears green? Deirdre. To manipulate. Ooh, like a little alchemist den? What's NACL? I am gonna look this up. That's like sodium something? Sodium chloride? Sodium chloride. Oh my god. I am <laughs> smart. Oh, it's salt. <laughs> it's literally salt. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, mysterious potion ingredient. <laughs> what could be? What magical properties could it hold? It's it's fucking table salt. This is this is also very pretty though. I feel like I'm already seeing a bit of an improvement over the environments in Midnight in Salem. The powers of the past. Wait, 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 you went through that too quickly, sir. So this is like a Blackmore Manor type little code book, which historically is not my favorite thing in Nancy Drew games. I find them kind of overwhelming, I guess. I can't really articulate why. That would be the closest I could get to it. What other games have them? There's like that Mutus Libra in um, Blackmore Manor, which is kind of useless, <laughs> not gonna lie. The clues in that are a bit too cryptic, but there's like a few kind of examples of this in other games. What does this mean? Lion, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, X, X marks the spot. There's like this little, little alien man. The 
very Blackmore Manor. Yeah, these these symbols are in Blackmore Manor. That's fire. Nancy Drew taught me things. You know, I have learned from these edutainment games. Okay, maybe I'm going to go through frame by frame pausing. Then I'll watch it all the way through um, so I can actually absorb <laughs> things. For their own dark. dark designs. Wait, that was like a cathedral. And you know what? I'm not going to go back. <laughs> Black market chatter. Whose voice is this? I'm guessing the first voice belonged to the older guy. This could be Roddick, I guess. Prague, the police marked Michael Svoboda <laughs> as a person of interest in a rash of gem thefts that have ravaged Prague. His nightmare began. <laughs> what evidence connected him to the scene of the crime of the latest theft? The one caveat, he was never at the scene. He cancelled his appointment to see the jewels the night before. Only the appointment on the jeweler's computer connected him. He still did it. He still did it. I'm calling it now. His exoneration failed to stop rumors from circulating against him. Svoboda joins a growing list of suspects who have faced accusations and interrogation based on unfounded evidence. Interesting, maybe like sign of police corruption or at least ineptitude. And what's this little room? It might be a jeweler's store. We saw like a case before in the scene with baby Deirdre and a laptop where there's like a jewel, like a necklace in a case. So maybe a jeweler's store is one of the locations. So we've seen like the square, museum at the castle, alchemist laboratory, um, jeweler's store. We've seen quite a few locations already. Has been talking about oh, that's a, that's a new man as well. That must be his voice then. <laughs> Hold on. Dark. They show them too quickly, and that, I don't know who that guy is either. I was going to say he was the old man, but his hair's too dark. There's quite a few characters, although then again, there are quite a few characters in Midnight Salem as well. Okay, this guy, Professor Plum, because he's wearing a purple jacket. Oh yeah, that's Prague. In a matter of days. Oh my god, it's going, it's going too fast. Oh, I don't like the look of this puzzle. This looks like the type of puzzle I would not enjoy. It's giving me traumatic <laughs> flashbacks to the floor puzzle at midnight in salem hopefully it's a bit easier than that one another bottle of salt perhaps maybe that's some pepper okay like a cool little chest an alchemist chest one who can stop them nancy this is looks like another new character as well nancy is the chosen one <laughs> only she can stop the world from destroying itself are you nancy oh <laughs> ma'am ma'am hello i can be anyone you want me to be this is another new character i am okay that's the one behind the counter i like her pink hair we've got some really like diverse looking characters they all look very different so far i've been waiting oh oh slightly ominous but exciting i do think the character models in general do look a bit better than Midnight in Salem as well. I think the lip syncing, my impression is that it's a bit better. And yeah, they have a lot clearer skin texture going on. I think Midnight in Salem characters looked a little blurry at times, and these ones look less so. From her interactive. <laughs> and we know them. <laughs> we love them. <laughs> the creator of the Nancy Drew games. Oh my god, I did not know that. I did. Whoa. Whoa. That has changed my whole perspective. I had no idea. In your letter, you I'm making fun of myself because I'm like probably, probably too obsessed <laughs> with this little game series, but that's neither here nor there. Your ticket information is enclosed. This, the matter of my necklace that has now been replaced with fake gems is very confidential. This sounds kind of like uh, Secret of the Scarlet Hand, so it's a theft case probably. Fraud? Forgery? It's my mother's necklace. My mother. I wonder if that wasn't was in the case. Sorry, I keep my brain is like p -p 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 jumping around. It's like a goalie in a net trying to catch all my different ideas as they pass by. My mother told me little about it. She hardly told me or rarely told me anything at all. You will meet me at Prague Castle in the Hunger Consular Cafe. Oh my god. When I was in Prague, I went to the ca a cafe in Prague Castle. It was overlooking the city. It was gorgeous. And me and my friend ate Black Forest Gateau, just like Renata in The Captive Curse. <laughs> At the end of the courtyard, if you are as good as they say, you will find it. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. Like, <laughs> oh, you have to be a real smart cookie to find this public cafe. <laughs> 
My question, no questions until you arrive. Use this number only in emergency. It could be traced. Ba ba ba. A Cerna? Cerna? What was stolen. Yes, the necklace. My mother's yes. Oh, <gasps> puzzle box. Jewels. Is that the necklace? Because that's <laughs> ugly. <laughs> it looks like it was made by a five-year-old. Necklace heirloom. Purchase history. So this is like maybe an incident report. That has now been oh, personal item policy. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I don't think you want it back. I don't think you want it back. <laughs> Unless those are the fake gems in the original ones. It's looked a lot like nicer, but I'm just not a fan of the setting. You know, it's just it's just not my style. I'll say that. It's just not my style. With fake gems. Oh my god, I'm only like a minute into this three minute long trailer. I was like, this will be like a five minute long video. No, apparently I have a lot to say. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a shot. More, more jewels. I like that better with the stars, the like layered necklace. That's nice has gone too far the investigation oh, i've seen that building i've seen that building that's right next to the astrological clock oh my god this is so much more exciting having been to prague What's that? although i kind of wish i'd been after they released this trailer because <laughs> then i would have had more information yes. okay that was another another guy i think we have seen him before though he looks like maybe he's like a curator at the museum. There's a violin. Oh my god, they got a little audio tour. Love me an audio tour. Dali Borka Tower. Oh my god, another man. A tarot card, maybe? Is that what that is? So many, so many characters. Elka, Elka, we know. Oh my god, and another one. I can't keep up. There's so many. How am I gonna figure out who the culprit is? I'm so used to like four culprits and it's like, you know, one in four chance. Not too bad odds, but this is like... I can't keep up even with the amount of characters that have been introduced. I can't count that high. How am I supposed to make a random uneducated guess and be correct in this kind of economy? Elka is so gorgeous, although her hair is like a different color in this shot than in images we've seen of her earlier. I don't know if the lighting is just weird. I'm not sure. It's kind of weird with her dark eyebrows, but I get it. Some That's a look for some people. Not sure it suits you, Elk. <laughs> Out of all the characters so far, I think I'm most interested in her. Find out. Who's this lady though? She looks suspicious. She did it. She did it. I think it was her. Just based on looks. There's my random chance. Wait, wait. I want to see Radic. There he is. And this little man in the background. No, you know what? He did it. <laughs> he did it. I like Radic's look as well. I think he looks better than the original um, images they released of him. Also, I like his sweater. Big fan of his sweater. Who stole the gems? Also, his eyebrows were, forgive me for using like a 2013 term, but they were snatched. They were on fleek. <laughs> yeah, I'm old. <laughs> okay, this little guy, maybe he's like a, um, he might be a jeweler. Jeweler's tools of some sort, like, I mean, those are like pliers and things. They could be used for a jeweler. I'm trying to connect, I'm trying to connect the dots here. I've connected the two dots. You didn't connect shit, but I've connected them. Why does he have a last will and testament in his cubicle? That's very interesting. He's also very suspicious. He's my third suspect, my number three suspect. First, there's that lady with the short, dark hair. Then there's that random guy in the background. Then this old fellow. Oh, this is, oh my God, look at the shine on that. This is gorgeous as well. Some kind of crypt or catacomb. That's card. That's the card that she was. It was. was her, it was in the trailer earlier. I recognize that. <laughs> I'm, you know, pr pretty observant. You could say. And foot footprints. Suspicious footy prints. But who foot the print? Prints. <laughs> oh, the Midnight in Salem vibes here. More mysterious, spooky catacombs. Exploring. Who's there? In the Nancy Drew, in the new Nancy Drew mystery, I'm definitely gonna need to watch this all the way through. I feel like I'm just taking in visuals right now. I'm a visual learner, you could say. The necklace is the same as. Okay, here's here's my number one suspect. Sure it was. Sure it was, honey. Sure, <laughs> some people might believe that. First time I saw it. The jewels belong to the people. Oh, some some political, social drama. More jewels. You must have heard about Ooh. the gem forging. Ah. Not the usual. Ooh, another another sweater vest king. Maybe it's Cardigan King, though. 
He looks like Mar Martin Scorsese. What is the question? I'm not the usual. Oh, another puzzle. Hammers, crowns, swords, crosses, all different shapes. Mm -hmm. That looks fun. This looks like the kind of puzzle I'd enjoy. Stick my little paws into. Okay. I a secret door. <laughs> you had me at secret door. Discover the clues. I think this is like the central kind of square in Prague, which I've seen, although it had a big market in the center of it when I was there. Although maybe I'm wrong and it's inside the castle. I won't I won't claim to be that familiar with Prague. I've I've spent one whole day there. <laughs> Oh, and you bet she's going to snoop. Faith Weekly. So this is probably in like a church. She's snooping. Good. I'm glad Nancy's snooping. It would have been very disappointing if we had this whole game and Nancy did not snoop once. <laughs> Couldn't even call it a Nancy Drew game at that point. I'd better be quick. Oh, there's something in that drawer. What's in that drawer? Better be quick. Saint Vitus. Oh, that's the cathedral, I think, in the castle. We didn't go in there, but it was gorgeous. Oh, <gasps> whoa. Okay, this looks complicated. I don't know if I'm ready. I'm going to have to like emotionally prepare myself for some of these puzzles. They look tricky. Alchemist. Who is that little fellow in the alcove? I wonder if it's going to be like about the Philosopher's Stone in some way. <laughs> Memorize that puzzle solution. <laughs> Keep that in mind. I'll be consulting this when the game comes out. Maybe that's St. Vitus. Oh! <gasps> It's the seven keys. It's the seven keys. It's the mystery of the seven keys. Is Nancy going to fight a knight? Is Nancy going to dress up as a knight? Is there going to be like an animated suit of armor like in Scooby-Doo? So many great possibilities. Is the culprit going to try to kill Nancy while dressed as a knight? Okay, I think Radic's a good guy. I trust Radic. Watch me come back and like eat my words when the game comes out and it turns out Radic is actually the culprit. It's a good thing I Oh no. I and a few other people didn't like the lock picking in Midnight in Salem, but you know what? Maybe they've improved it. I don't won't know until I play the game. I have a bobby pen on me. Unlock the adventure. Like if you had seven keys. <laughs> You know, that's St. Vitus's, I think. I found oh, she's finding more keys. Oh, Kafka, he's from Prague. A storm in Scotland. In love with the girl next door. Is Nancy the girl next door? Is that a, is that a reference to Nancy and Ned's relationship? I am losing my mind. I am absolutely losing my mind. <laughs> this, iron this is not good for me. Okay, one of that's <laughs> Nancy. You better find more than just one key. Okay, you. I think you need to find like six more. So you better get on that. In our streets, there are secrets. Secrets to unlock with seven keys. To unlock. Ooh, I don't know if I can read that. I put in my contacts and everything for like maximum vision, but I can't read that sadly. Lurking in I'll have to leave some things as a secret. Okay, Saint Vitus's Cathedral. Every corner. Oh. Oh my god, is there like some dark force? There was fog at the start of the trailer. <laughs> okay, a warehouse. Oh no, it's 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 a scaffolding on the side of the building like they're doing restoration. Fragile? You think that would be in English in Prague? <laughs> I don't think so. That's nitpicking though. That is 110% nitpicking. I'm sure most people who play this game cannot speak Czech. Like me, I'm one of those people. I cannot speak Czech. I think I picked up one word of Czech, which was ahoy, which is hello. <laughs> a oh no, Nancy, she fell. Reveal a deeper conspiracy. I hope that's a second chance. I really, I think, don't think there are enough second chances in Midnight in Salem. A deeper conspiracy. I love a deeper conspiracy. I love a deeper conspiracy. Are not changed easily. Okay, ma'am. Miss Suspicious Lady. Wait, I want to see what's behind her. It's just more jewels. Okay, she also looks like she probably works at the jeweler's shop. Locked security code required. Trust no one. Trust no one. Oh my god, quoting the X-Files at me? Babe, I'm familiar. Caramel syrup, little tarts, 
with like berries on top. Delightful. I have my oh my god, look at all these. Okay, we've, she's only met four suspects. I like the character art as well. That's pretty. So this is Nancy's new notebook. Clues, achievements. You can track your achievements. That's very interesting. And I like that they have, have included pictures in the notebook as well. That's kind of, that's a new thing. Did she even have a notebook in Midnight in Salem? She had her phone. Yeah, she, I think she just used her phone, but I like that she's back to having a, a notebook. And it's an actual physical notebook that you can see. What's this? Oh, this is this is one of the characters. Hans Second Shine. He's probably one of the jewelers. She looks like Natalie Portman in that picture. Holy sh**. So we've got Natalie Portman as one of our suspects and Martin Scorsese. Did they do the crime? <laughs> Tune in to find out. <laughs> oh, these are all stickies you can buy on them. They're her interactive web store, interestingly. I wonder if they'll be addressed in the game or if they're just like an Easter egg. I wonder if it'll be like, Elka, are you stalking me? Because <laughs> all your laptop stickers pertain to things that I have done, which is a little odd. You got him it. Yeah, she's literally saying you can never be too careful on the internet these days. She's been cyber stalking Nancy for years. For years, she must be stopped. Too careful on the internet these days. Her hair does look more blonde than it was originally. I'm not, I'm not sure about it. I liked it when it was a bit darker blonde or darker kind of brownie blonde. Days. Getting close. Ooh, <laughs> cyberblock infiltration level. Nancy's hacking in. Hack the planet. It's gonna be Nancy's new catchphrase instead of it's locked. Okay, I'll be interested to see that that puzzle. Oh my god, that was spooky. Was that like we <laughs> hold on the puppet of death? <laughs> the puppet of death. What is this? He's like a super villain? He's spooky. Like Doctor Doom or something. It's the, the physical manifestation of a computer virus. The virus villain. It's like, oh my god, it's like Scooby Doo with the cyber chase. The, the puppet of death. The death. <laughs> Was that the puppet of death? Just a skeleton? And someone's got it and going, doo -doo 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 -doo, I'm the puppet of death. I This game better have puppets, or I'm going to. Very disappointed. That better not be a metaphor. I'll be expecting to see a literal physical puppet of death. <laughs> oh, is that the- wait, that's a spooky, spooky person. That's like the- is that the puppet of death? That could be the knight. It looks like someone wearing a face mask, though. I'm intriguing. The real monsters in Prague? Is the puppet of death. Wait, there's- yeah, there's something going on with this black smoke. That's- <gasps> There are puppets. I was actually joking. I, I thought it was just a metaphor, but they're going to be literal puppets of death. Actually, that's that looks like Shakespeare. Get out of here, Shakespeare. Assistant puppeteers will train. I volunteer as tribute. I volunteer as puppeteer. I would love to do that. Also, last train to Blue Moon Canyon. Antique Puppet Restoration Society. Can I join? Coming soon for the people. I love that he has a picture of himself on the board behind him. Also, this cat. I hope this cat is in the game. Does that say mittens? Could say mittens. It's a ginger cat, like my cat. Oh my god. <laughs> I am not absorbing anything he's saying. I just got so excited about the puppets, man. Look at it. Oh my god, it's it's dramatic. It's it's going so fast. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, that's creepy. I don't like that. Oh, yes, of course, there's an astrological clock puzzle. Oh, that was dramatic. Sometimes the past. Something's following me. The night, the puppet of death. In the past. Nancy's room, mystery, the seven keys. Oh, boy. Are they going to say a release date? Is the question. I just want to clarify before anything else happens. I am not one of those people who's like, oh my god, when's the release date? When's the release date? I'm like happy to wait. Honestly, I do kind of understand people's frustration, but it's also like, I also think a lot of people are a bit too <laughs> harsh and have a bit too high expectations. I do understand where they're coming from, but also like think back to when they announced Midnight in Salem and they announced a release date and then they had to delay the release date and people were very upset about that. And I think they're trying to avoid 
that same thing happening again. Yes, I do think they could have handled everything better. I think they should have waited to even announce the game until they had a release date. But I think I'd rather wait and not have them delay it and just announce the release date when they feel ready and when the game is in like a state of completion or very close to it. I will say though, I think especially the the marketing interns have worked like so hard on building hype for this game and creating like a campaign for this game. So yeah, like this hasn't gone perhaps as smoothly as I probably hoped, but you can tell that a lot of work and love has gone into this game that we've seen so far, at least the very least from the marketing side. But I do think this game is visually very pretty. I think they've put together a very compelling trailer. I have to say it was wild. I'm excited to watch it back another time because oh boy, you bet I'm going to be watching it back at least two more times. <laughs> Buckle in, make yourself a cup of tea because we've only gotten started. Let's see. Mm. Really? Oh! <gasps> That's so soon! That's so soon! I was not expecting that. That's less... That's less than a month away? I was like, if they were going to announce a release date, I was expecting, like, I don't know, six months from now. <laughs> I don't- I'm not ready! Uh, this is not enough time for me to be ready. Okay, I gotta be honest, before this, I was very cautiously optimistic about this game. I wasn't, you know, full-on negative, I wasn't full-on positive, but this, I think, has definitely hyped me up quite a bit, and I think it is actually wise to, you know, release this pretty stunning, impressive trailer very close to the release date so the hype doesn't die down. To be fair, they already had an issue with hype building up and then dying down, but I think I saw someone like on the Reddit or somewhere else say that maybe they had expected to release it earlier and then there was some technical hiccup that they couldn't control and that's why they couldn't release it when the first round of hype was happening. Either way, I think they could learn from this experience just in terms of communicating a bit more clearly with the fans sometimes. But I do think overall this has gone a lot more smoothly <laughs> than Midnight in Salem's build up. But I don't know. Obviously it has been a bit of a bumpy road. Okay, let's watch it all the way through. I'm just gonna turn off my mouse, in fact. I'm gonna completely resist the urge to pause. Rated E10 for ages 10 I have turned it off. Here Wait, okay. in the beautiful city of Prague, uh, there are mysteries so steep in ooh, history. The lens flare. Preserved for all to remember. Preserved. But there are those who would use the technology of this modern world to manipulate. I think that's Deirdre. I think that's what Deirdre wears in Midnight in Salem. So I guess this guy is like technology bad. Black market chatter. That guy's a black market guy. Are you Nancy Drew? I am. <laughs> Have a seat. I've been waiting for you. I like this music too, actually. You explained what it's was pretty. Stolen. It was my mother's necklace that has now been replaced with fake gems. It has gone too far. What's this? Suspects. You will reach out to them and find out who stole the gems. What is this place? A card and footprints. I like the dramatic zooms. I didn't really notice them when I was going through it very slowly, but they're fun. You must have heard about the gem forgeries in Prague. The little sparkle noise. I'm not the usual tourist. If I'm gonna see you, I'd better be quick. I just know she like did something with the pen. Oh my god, I said I wasn't gonna do that. She did something with the pen, she moved it out of the way. That's interesting. That was okay. I'm sorry. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna just pause it and <laughs> make fun of myself because that was a, such a stupid thing to be like. Oh my god, she moved a pen. I'm getting a bit carried away. I think I need to calm down. I'm gonna take a sip of water. <laughs> we should get out of here. 
It's a good thing I have a bobby pin on me. Does Nancy go anywhere without a bobby pin? She shouldn't. <laughs> she should know that by now. I mean, I think she should take a lock picking kit with her everywhere. But <laughs> she doesn't agree. Traditions are not changed easily. Is that door covered in blood? I have my work cut out for me. You can never be too careful on the internet these days. Getting closer. It is the puppet of death. Maybe that was the puppet of death in the computer. Oh. Don't always look at. Oh. I wanna I wanna pause it, but I got I have to resist. I already broke my rule once. Okay, wait. Oh, that's a creepy arm. It looks like Venom from, like, Spider-Man. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I need to go back <laughs> to a few key places. Look at that arm. That is not a normal human arm. Something very wrong is going on there. It's like it's forged with the chain mail. I assume it's the knight. That's creepy. But I wanted to see this little caravan. That's cute. I wonder if that's- oh, That's probably the puppet theater. That's where the puppet of death lives. I don't know what that stuff is. Oh, a little stage. And they're, they're going to build a little puppet theater. And they've got the chairs lined up. Okay, okay, I've got it. I've got it. I'll save you <laughs> the pain of me watching through this again. Or will- No, I'll say- I, We've watched it already <laughs> twice. <laughs> I've been recording for 36 minutes. <laughs> this trailer is three minutes long. <laughs> I watched it twice, which, if you know math, equals six minutes. How have I been recording for 36 minutes? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, yeah, clearly I do have a lot more thoughts than I originally thought when I was like, mm -hmm, five minute video. <laughs> Overall, I am very excited by this. I, I can't believe it's releasing so soon. Like, I wanted to do an updated Theories and Hopes video, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that now because I won't have time and I hadn't fully formulated my thoughts on that. Also, I think it's interesting that in my original theories and hopes video i was like mm, i don't think it's gonna be another spooky game because we just had one and historically they don't do them two in a row especially now that they're releasing them less frequently this is uh, this is another spooky game if anything is spooky that's spooky like there's some there's some spooky business going on here i want to appreciate this graphic for a moment the unlocking oh wait that's hold on hold on hold on that's that door that we just saw. I keep discovering new things. I have to stop and draw the line for myself. Oh my god, look at this little skeleton. He looks like he's holding a popcorn bucket. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that's the door that was in that past scene. That's very cool. Yeah, I keep- I'm gonna keep finding more details, so I ha- I have to cut myself off. It is- it is unhealthy. I wanted to, like, edit this super quickly, just a five minute video. Won't take very long to edit. I'll have it up by the end of today. I'm now I'm wondering if that is true. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you thought of the trailer. I welcome all opinions, whether they agree with mine or not. There is a space for them here. Also, I would love to know your early, completely baseless opinions on who you think the culprit will be. <laughs> Because I think that's fun. You know my my main suspects, my top three. Let's find out my number one again. This lady, based on like one frame of her. So yeah, are you excited for Mystery of the Seven Keys? I know I definitely am. I am very much looking forward to May 7th and I really don't think I'm going to be ready. <laughs>